You might not see this every day, but it's no accident. Preston Curtis has been running without sneakers for 13 years. When he was in California, the Gloucester resident realized that he was suffering from chronic injuries. He became suspicious that his sneakers were the culprit. So he kicked off his shoes, began running barefoot, and has never looked back. Since then, he's been injury free. My knee pain went away, my, my, every, every pain's gone away. It's amazing. A new study published in Nature by Harvard University researchers from the Department of Human Evolutionary Biology supports Preston's theory. The study was motivated by a simple question, are modern running shoes helping us run? Obviously we evolved to run while we were barefoot and the natural functioning of the body is to forfeit strike. Adam Daoud, a research assistant and one of the authors of the study, traveled to Kenya with lead researcher Dr. Daniel Lieberman to test the running styles of Kenyan runners. Kenyans are some of the best endurance runners in the world, and yet most of them run barefoot. The barefoot Kenyans will let the front part of their feet hit the ground first with each stride. Those of us that use modern sneakers are used to having our heels strike first. Dawood and his team wanted to know which of these techniques was more efficient. In other words, which one wastes less energy? Um, we've just found you know, that you eliminate the collision force when you forefoot strike compared to heel strike. The research team tested barefoot and shod runners at this Harvard lab. It turns out that barefoot technique is better. When the heel strikes first, it creates a big collision with the ground, which wastes energy and acts like a brief stop of the leg. This is inefficient and potentially harmful. Barefoot runners allow the foot to roll front foot first into the stride, keeping impact to a minimum and allowing the natural spring in the muscles and tendons to work. This study isn't the only publication that supports barefoot running. In 2009, Chris McDougall published Born to Run. The book became popular among the running community, and there appears to be an increase in barefoot running over recent months. Well, I heard about it. I re read the book uh, Born to Run, um, about the, uh, the Indians that run barefoot. And stuff. In fact, I got shoes on that are supposed to be uh, sort of mimicking barefoot a little bit. You know, not much support in the uh, arches and stuff. The sneaker industry has taken notice. Perhaps out of fear that barefoot running could make modern running shoes obsolete, companies have begun to manufacture new kinds of sneakers, ones that are supposed to make it easier to run in a four-foot strike style. Shoes like the Nike Free boast technology meant to mimic the natural feeling of running barefoot along with a layer of protection for the foot. Oh, actually, it, it actually kind of works. I, I feel a lot better when I'm uh, running in these shoes than in my normal sneakers. And these funny-looking shoes? The Vibram Five Fingers have become a popular choice for barefoot runners seeking a layer of protection. Um, and I read some of the articles that Dan Lieberman had posted and I uh, realized that it really is better for you. It makes you run faster, better you can run for longer. Um, so I decided to just try it out. Running shoe retailers like Marathon Sports are already looking into the Harvard study to determine what stance to take. The company sent out a newsletter outlining their opinion, stating, quote, minimalist running is a fully legitimate form and, with proper training, likely to yield less repetitive stress injuries than a more pronounced heel striking gait, end quote. William Campbell, a sales associate at City Sports, routinely tackles inquiries about barefoot running. He's a barefoot runner himself. I did decide to do barefoot running just because of the popularity number one, and the test personal testimonies I had from customers. Dawood cautions that the sneaker industry should not overreact to the study. That it's not about, you know, taking off your shoe, it's about changing the way that you run. So if you're interested in switching over to barefoot running, start slow. Barefoot running needs to be eased into to prevent injury. We're hoping, you know, to do more research on injuries and figure out, you know, how runners who are suffering from certain injuries could benefit from running in a different way, um, you know, adjusting their foot strike. The study means a lot to Preston, who finally feels the way he was running wasn't all that odd. It's complete validation. It's complete you're doing something that's crazy to you have something. In a sea of runners on a weekend run, there were few minimalist runners. At the park, one happened to jog by, a meeting of barefoot enthusiasts. I'm here to offer my experience to help people. I want to see more people running barefoot. <laughs> For BU10, I'm Michelle Macaluso in Boston.